Hey guys, so today I just got back from China Star, which is this really crappy place that Jess and I like to eat at when we're developing and coding. And I felt like I would take you upstairs. I will show you my cat. Um, I gotta take him to the vet after I'm done mailing tomorrow. And my dog, it's very dark right now. Let me turn on some light. Oh, I just came back. My friend came back from the Caribbean and she got me this as a gift. Thank you, Megan. Um, anyway, let's check out how my dog's doing. Norman. Hello, Norman. Hello. Who's a good dog? Okay. This is my dog. Um, I probably should update his vet records as well. This is actually a famous graphic design library that I now own. And now my baby ferrets. Um, so this is the pet room. Uh, the pets come here when they want to get like food or snacks. Mainly they come here, I guess, for snacks. Um, there's some canned food. As you can see that, yep, those are the pets. And now these are my ferrets. Hello. And I thought ferrets were gonna live for two to three years because I've had hamsters before. But what happened was, oh, and here's uh, just toys and more bags of toys. Hello, Norman. Hello. So Norman is, he's very good at begging for treats. Look at his face. And this is his new bed that he hasn't ripped out yet. Okay, um, here's some anime stuff that they tear apart like crazy. All right, so I'm gonna take you upstairs. Uh, because I wanted to show you the new magic room. Oh, I think I mentioned this before, but the reason I wanted to... So there's Latios in Latos. Um, the reason I love, fell in love with this home is because of the... A lot of homes, they actually just... I know it's kind of dark, I should turn on the lights. Um, let me turn on the lights. Ta-da! Um, a lot of homes they actually have the staircase really close to the door, so it's really bad French way. And this is one of the only homes, and there's a Nerf dart. We're playing a lot of Nerf. Uh, this is Jessica, uh, Jessica's room. So she has a laptop that is more expensive than mine. Oh, here's some new posters. Um, I'm going to open up. There's Pikachu. I know that my, oh. It's interesting. Let's see. Is Pikachu just chilling? These are custom playmats, custom drawings. I love custom. So the more unique and rare an item is, uh, these posters are all customs too. They, you have to own a comic book store to get them. Uh, more posters. Uh, these are two rooms. They're very messy. So I'm not gonna go in them right now, but here is my new room. Yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. And then the Eldrick Moon poster, which I just got, which is huge. Like, I don't know what comparison you can have, but this poster came out great. And I'm really glad I got it. Uh, just like my Lily. Where is Lily? Um, oh, yeah, Lily. Uh, here's my cat. He comes upstairs. And... Yeah, so I gotta go to, this is Google stuff. I'll show you more Google stuff. I have hundreds of boxes of this. Like when I mean hundreds, like if you ever come to my place, you're probably not gonna leave without some Google merchandise, no matter. Uh, my AC repair people love it. Uh, my lawn mower dude likes it. Um, hello, hello. Uh, and then that's my dragon. Cause, oh, okay, I, I'm not gonna go back, but I have a wolf upstairs. Uh, here are the, hello, hello. So uh, Boots with a Z is getting along with Norman just fine, which is good. I don't know what else I was trying to show you. Um, vlogging is really hard. Oh, we're, we are, uh, everyone is playing Nerf Gun Wars right now. Oh, of course. Um, let me turn on the lights here. Uh, this is Norman's health papers. So people always talking about like, oh, health insurance. Oh, and this is a packet for Caitlin I gotta send out tomorrow. 
Um, this is uh, Boots Health Insurance, or Vet Visits. You can get health insurance from Petco. I think this company is owned by Petco. And you can see Norman's all healthy. Um, he does have some pre-existing conditions. I actually adopted him, so that is interesting. I did adopt this one. <laughs> uh, this one did not like me very much in the beginning. But we get along just fine. We get along just fine now. I have a lot of scratches from him. And, you know, cats, I think, are harder to adjust. I fostered two cats before, and they're just very difficult to adjust. Ooh, who's a good cat? Norman, stop. Hello, Norman, hello. And, you know, it is almost time for bed, so I always give my cat and my dog, uh, I have to let my ferrets out to play for about half an hour. It is very late at night, as you can see. It is very dark, and Norman, no, Norman, no. And yeah, this is more Google swag. This is all, it's like so much. Okay, let me show you how much we have. I have cases of this stuff. So this goes the whole way back. I have five of these, whatever these are, crates, and uh, yeah, this is a lot of them. Oh yeah, I'll show you the time. So you guys, oh, we just got this. Uh, this is Jess's favorite. Uh, this is Megan's favorite, um, and this is a bagel. I eat the bagels. I love New York style bagels. It is 2.25, which means I'm gonna let the ferrets out. So 2.25 a.m., I'm gonna let the ferrets out to play a little bit. And Norman's already gone to the bathroom. Look how cute he is. He's a cute duck. He's over five years, so it's almost five and a half years. Um, boots with a Z is about two and a half. I have not taken him to the vet yet. Um, so I'm hoping to get a canceled vet appointment so I can kind of slide in on a Friday. But if not, I have to do it Saturday. Um, this is actually a very, he's a very good cat. Uh, very difficult to deal with initially, but all foster animals, I didn't foster him, I adopted him. And I am, oh, I can't show you my desk, but I am working on some stuff right now. So I'll try to be better at vlogs. I'm going to go to my favorite game store, one that I don't own. Uh, I guess my favorite game store I do not own. I heard the posters and you know um, the Google stuff, and I got a twenty thousand, twenty one thousand dollar AC unit, which I don't even like care. Like uh, I would much rather have twenty one thousand dollars of this. You, you can see like. I was volunteering at a ammo shelter on Monday and I got scratched up like crazy. Oh, I got new shoes, running shoes. Yeah, I don't know if you can see this. No, you can't see it. It's like focusing on the slivy. Uh, and then there, those are my two good luck charms, Latios and Latos. Um, I don't know how vlogging ends. Should I just end and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, so I just got back and I fed my cat. Uh, my cat actually, uh, supposedly, I looked at his paperwork last night. We're going to the vet today. Uh, one of my vet's patients canceled, which is very typical on a Friday. So that's what she told me already, that she thought that she was going to cancel uh, my baby ferrets. I do have to play with them a little bit today. I was not able to play with them as much as I wanted yesterday. Uh, this cat is eating... Fancy Feast, uh, the favorite food of cats. If you let, want your cat to like you, just feed it lots of expensive Fancy Feast. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, where is Norman? I'm off to the post office slash meeting a friend. Uh, just wants to get brunch at the Egg and I, which is, oh, excuse me. Uh, which is Norman. Norman, he's been well snacked and he's happy. So we are going to go see the vet. I have all my paperwork. I do have to get updated paperwork on Norman. Uh, he has insurance. I don't know if you guys, I've told you this, but he does have insurance. I have not done much work at the company office or the home office. I've been at the company office since six o'clock today. You know, when you have a real job, sometimes you have to go to the office. I'm very happy to get this in. Uh, we 
from 6.30 until just now, which is about 10, we were just doing uh, a law firm website. Um, it's an old client of ours. We did it as a favor. Uh, we didn't have to do it, but we all came in and we finished the project and now we're all good to go. Uh, so today I need to go to the vet. I will show you my lovely city um, of Humble. And so I'll show you the mall that's kind of close to us, but I'll show you the actual like civic center. And I'm really big onto local. So I spend my, a lot of my time um, at the civic center and doing like local business um, speeches and stuff like that, uh, business conferences. I don't get paid, uh, but it's local. Oh, this is my new running shoes. Uh, this is my old one. And I used to have a foster dog and he would eat a, he would eat a pair of running shoes every week. You can see that Norman's happy. He's uh, very, very happy. Oh, he's camera shy, but he's got that, you know, look. But so uh, the, the goal today is go to the post office right after I'm done uh, snacking on some food. And then uh, from the post office, I'm gonna meet my friend. I'm not gonna bring my cat with me until like it's time my appointment at the vet is 2, uh, 2.15. So I'm not gonna bring my cat with me. I'm going to grab lunch or brunch with Jess. And then, yeah, hopefully I'll take, I'll remember to take you with me. I forgot, uh, I left at five uh, 5.40 to get there at six. So I totally forgot to uh, take you guys with me, um, which is, you know, uh, you could have solved the company office, but maybe I'll remember to do that a little later. Anyway, bye guys. So many hours later, I'm going to say goodbye. Not many hours, many, oops, step on your tail. Hello, hello. Um, I'm going to say goodbye. And we're off to the post office, which will be the first thing. This is like uh, dog food, cat food, packaged to the post office, put in the back. I'm almost certain the post office is open. It's past 10 right now. And I'll show you some cool stuff. Um, let me show you from this angle. So if you see these white boxes, they're actually just all Google kits and then unopened for the most part. Um, I don't know if I can show you. That's a Tokyo taco box. So I'm gonna get into the car. And once I'm in the car, I'll show you something that I find really annoying. Uh, this is a AUX lightning port. <laughs> it's like 35 bucks. Uh, it, having Apple products is not the best because they always want you to spend extra money for like no reason. It does not work as well as my AUX to AUX. And obviously it costs more money. Plus it's like brand new, like even before June, this thing didn't even exist. But we're going off to the mail office, or the post office, which should take us 25 minutes to get there. You might be like, oh, why does it take you so long to get to the post office? And it's because I live in the middle of nowhere. It takes me 25 minutes to get anywhere. If I want uh, seafood, that's probably 35 minutes. Um, it is pretty crazy. Plus the post office is so bad, it doesn't really come up in the Google Maps. But anyway, I will uh, talk to you guys later. Oh, I think this is the post office. Uh, 16 point, is six, 17 minutes. Uh, but it actually is going to be longer than 17 minutes. So off we go. Anyway, hi guys. So I finally come here at the post office. It is about 25 minutes, uh, which is right. Uh, GPS always says it's like less, but it takes about 25 minutes to get here. Um, it's really hard to uh, mail stuff to you guys, mainly because um, I will take you out uh, right now and, oh geez, gotta get my keys and stuff and show you like where this post office is. Like there's a pawn and gun, gun store. Uh, that's the post office right there with the post office people. And yeah, so I'm gonna take you out real quick and then I'll show you around. Oh my gosh. So that is a coffee store. That is uh, to repair your facing stuff. That's a pet salon. And that's pretty much where my post office is located. 
Um, whenever I have to ship something to you, it often takes uh, half an hour to get here, uh, an hour to wait in line. Obviously, I'm not gonna take you inside, but it does look semi-crowded, but not like super crowded. Oops. Um, so it takes about two hours to ship anything with uh, tracking and insurance. And obviously, this has to go with tracking insurance. Um, so, yes, I will catch you guys. Um, I guess my next thing I would be doing would be... I have the option to play a little bit of Pokemon while I'm in the great city of Humble. Like, this is the post office. Like, it's right next to different pawn gun stores and maybe do you guys want to see that type of stuff oh also this is pretty cool um for my friend bye guys as expected that took a long long time um yeah just lots of people doing lots of crazy stuff um i did get insurance on it insurance was extra so it is going to birmingham alabama uh, the insurance was 270 for a hundred dollars. I could not get more on that because of the package, I guess. Um, I did, so let me show you. Uh, let me block out the tracking, I guess. So here we go. The, this is the receipt, right? And then I don't know if I can show you insurance. Um, I guess insurance is right here. It just take my word for, oh, it's uh, two, yep. Um, so it is a scent the lily is gone and i have just so much work i have to do i got a phone call from work saying that emergency emergency come back to the office which is not how i was planning to spend my friday um, i'm a little upset right now but um as you can hear that ding that means hey get back to work dude uh so i will probably it takes about an hour two hours I might stop for lunch. I'm not sure what I want to do. But yeah, the reason that it's so hard to ship you guys stuff is I literally live in the middle of nowhere. Like, this is our only post office in the city of Humble. Now you might be like, oh, why don't you go to the downtown office? The only downtown post office uh, I know of is part of the courtroom. And that's just weird. I, I've done it a few times. It's very crowded. Um, so whenever it takes me, whenever I had to get shipping and insurance on something, so I definitely wanted to get insurance because once you put insurance on it, they actually probably handle it better. Um, but it's really hot right now. I need to decide if I want to eat something here. I will see my friend and Jess will get brunch with me. Um, probably at, I have to call her to tell her that we're getting brunch at downtown Houston because, you know, Anytime you, on a Friday, you hear a ding, 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 um, it's not the best. Um, so I have to change back. Uh, right now, I'm wearing this. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm wearing just, uh, so obviously not appropriate for our very, very nice office. Anyway, bye guys. Hey guys, so I got some more stuff for you and I got back from said post office. This is post office stuff, don't worry about that. The lily is finally gone. I feel really good about that. Um, it is now 12.17. So I think I left around 9.45. So that would make this whole trip. And I haven't eaten yet, and Jess is getting really fussy because he wanted to eat at the Egg and I, and she doesn't like to eat downtown. So we're just gonna grab dinner tonight at a new Chinese restaurant that is not China Star. Uh, Norman is coming with us, so I will be seeing. So it also sucks for Norman as well, uh, my head developer, because what happened was we went in at uh, 6 a.m. to work on a website. We finished the website, then we went home. Uh, I got home around 10. I think Norman took a nap because that's what he does. And then, oh, this is the uh, Nerf gun wars that we're fighting right now. I'll show you some more stuff. And then, uh, what happened? Then I went to the post office for about two hours, uh, two hours and some time. And after the post office was done, you can see my cat, he's kind of cute. I had a appointment for him at two o'clock, but I had to come back to work and I have to go back to my office at two which is unfortunate because it, it dampers my lunch uh, plans, plus the fact that, um, what's it called? I have to still take him to the vet. 
He has never been to the vet yet, which is a no-no because who knows what. He has his, medic, he has his medical bills. I'm not going to show our medical history. I'm not going to show you that. Uh, this will be his first time visiting my vet. I was only able to visit my vet because someone canceled uh, Friday. Yeah, people are going to cancel, especially if they have, have kids. Here is some Zendikar vs. Adrazi. I'm really high on that set right now. Like that dual deck, I think is going to be worth $50, $60 later on because Adrazis are never going to go out of style. Um, I did get some new posters. And I think this is a Teen Titans. I'm really excited about Teen Titans. So, oh, back to my story. Um, so what I was doing, and you can take a look at this. I know the lighting is really bad, but I got a... Um, there's the box that I was supposedly going to give away if you guys want to win that. And Wedge decides not to take my offer up on the... Oh, let me show you my fridge because uh, I'll get into details a little later, but I broke up with my significant other for a long time. The reason I need to go to the vet, like normally I would be really lazy about it. Oh, I can't show you this. Um, is because I'm running out of uh, medication. So the medication that I get, I mean, it's kind of a monopoly. I'm not a big fan of this system. Is like, it's a monopoly, right? Like, hey, you have to go to the vet. Otherwise you can't get the heart heartworm medication that this guy needs. Oh, okay, so what happened was um, I went to the post office, I came back, it's 12.15, I'm waiting for the pet sitter. The pet sitter actually does not, Clarissa does not know I have a cat yet. Uh, she has been on vacation for a while and I've just kind of uh, left uh, my Norman with the neighbors. The neighbors uh, have a dog too and they love playing together. And yeah, so, oh, here's a cutie. I, he's, uh, according to his medical records, which I haven't looked at until today, he is a Sphinx? What is he? He's something that I did not think he was. But he, there's no way that he is a purebred because, well, he's not Sphinx. Like, what is it? It is a Siamese. He's Siamese. Like, what? I thought he was just a common tabby. But, I mean, he's got beautiful eyes. Uh, he is neutered, so that's good. We don't have to neuter him today. And, yeah, so I got to wait for my pet sitter to get here. I will be at the office from now until dinner time. Uh, Jess is not happy uh, that we all have to go back to the office again on Friday. <laughs> but, you know, clients are important, right? Uh, clients are really, really important sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, so anyway, I'm heading out. Um, I got to give Caitlin her tracking. I did get insurance. Wow, imagine that. You can get tracking insurance at the post office. Now, is it worth me going two hours for it? Yeah, absolutely. Like, if I just sent in the mail with no tracking, that would be irresponsible, right? Like, especially a card of that value. So it's kind of crazy to me that, like, why is it sending all these, like, really amazing fetch lands? And there's no tracking or insurance. Like you just got to do it. Like insurance is what two seventy for a hundred dollars. It's better to put some insurance on it than none because when you put insurance on it, the mail people have to take care of it more. Because I think because then they lose money, right? So I always put like if I'm going to do tracking, I'm going to do some some type of uh, insurance as well. This is my <laughs> I love this. I uh, actually just decorated some of this room. Um, but anyway, uh, we're good, and yeah, I think that will do the blog for this time. I'm really sorry. I wanted to do something really cool where I could go to the downtown office. I could go to, I can't obviously film in downtown. We've got clients coming soon. Uh, clients coming at three o'clock. Oh, well, who really wants to have a meeting at 3 p.m. on Friday? Like, I thought I was good. I thought I was good. And now I need, uh, um, I'm still have to go to the vet. I already, uh, I already committed to that. So, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, well, anyway, I promise. So today was supposed to be, oh, let's go hang out at game stores. I'll give you a tour of my local game store, blah, 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 blah. And obviously that is uh, not happening today. And I was going to give you a tour of my city, uh, humble where I live, and uh, local stores, local businesses. And honestly, that is just, um, mm. you know, I was at the post office waiting in line half an hour later and a half an hour left to go. 
Of course, I didn't know that, but you can probably predict it. And then I get a phone call. Hey, so-and-so wants to come in. Are you ready? I mean, they're coming in from Dallas. So I couldn't say no because they drove all the way from Dallas. And you might be like, oh, why didn't they tell you? They were visiting someone else, etc., etc. And now I have to, I have to eat. Um, I know Jess will be grumpy. <laughs> so we call, we carpool on the way to work. Um, because she has a car, but you know, parking is really expensive and I have a parking tag. So it, it means I can park in the garage so my car is not like 200 degrees when I get out. But the bad thing about that is I, I'm not guaranteed parking. So normally if today was not a Friday, I would be kind of screwed because if I was coming in at two, there's going to be no parking. But today's a Friday, so it's okay. Um, it's not like I get assigned uh, I, I can't afford that, right? I'm not like some big YouTuber with a lot of Patreon dollars where I can afford sign, a sign parking. No, I just gotta loop up until I find something and hope that it's not on the top level which would be exposed to the heat. Norman, do you wanna say goodbye? Norman? Who's a good Norman? Oh, these are Google bags if anyone wants them. Norman, Norman. Hello, Norman, hello. This is his handshake. Look how happy he is. Such a happy dog. <laughs>